Hi, everyone. Welcome to today's Gold Drop Call. I'll be doing the spotlight today. Today's spotlight is on cassia oil and cinnamon bark. I have them sitting right over here. Let me grab them real fast. Oh, sorry about that. <clears throat> so this is cinnamon bark. Cinnamon bark comes in a five milliliter bottle, five milliliter bottle. Cassia, this one's a five milliliter bottle, but it actually you could buy it in the 15 milliliter. <clears throat> so I'll tell you a little bit about cassia. <clears throat> cassia comes from uh, the cinnamon cassia. It's actually a very close relative to cinnamon. Cassie has a strong spicy aroma that can be used in small quantities to transform any essential oil blend. Cassie has been used for thousands of years for its many health benefits. It's one of the few essential oils mentioned in the Old Testament, noted for its unmistakable fragrance and calming aromatic, aromatic properties. Cassie is warming oil that helps promote healthy immune function when ingested. It's also a great oil to diffuse during cold months due to its warming properties and spicy scent. Due to its caustic nature, cassia should be diluted with a carry oil when applied to the skin. It can be very strong when inhaled directly. When diluted and applied topically, cassia can help soothe the body. Cassia can be used in cooking, either as a replacement for cinnamon and pies and breads or by itself in a myriad of entrees and desserts. So, cassia was steam distilled. It comes from the bark of the plant. Now, I'll read a little bit about cinnamon and then we'll talk about how to, I've used cassia and cinnamon in different ways in a few minutes. So, cinnamon bark, okay. Like we said, it's similar to cassia. They're in the same family. But cinnamon is derived from a tropical evergreen tree that grows up to 45 feet and has highly fragrant bark, leaves and flowers. Extracted from the bark, cinnamon oil soothes healthy metabolic function and helps maintain a healthy immune system when needed most. Cinnamon is frequently used in mouth rinses and chewing gums. Cinnamon has a long history of culinary uses, adding spice to desserts, entrees, and hot drinks. <clears throat> and it should also be diluted when used, applied to the skin. <clears throat> so, and it's also from the bark, it's steam distilled, just like cassia. <clears throat> and it says for uses, it says to put two drops in an empty veggie cap, right? Or you can put it in, in hot water, one drop in hot water, drink it slowly to irritate or to soothe the irritated throat. Or you could put it in cleansing bottle and bottles for cleansing and mouthwash. You should note that cinnamon is in our on guard oil. And so obviously we know that we have a lot of uh, different on guard products. So cinnamon is is a powerful oil. It's probably the one that gives us the most benefit out of the On Guard products. Now this last week, I was, well, week and a half, I was sick. I know Sharon's a little sick too right now. But uh, I was down and I was doing what I thought I should be doing. My wife, of course, was saying, well, you're not being consistent enough on using all the oils. And she would list the myriad of oils of what to use. And then when I got the call to do this call, like I started looking up cinnamon and cassia, what they did. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to add that to the flu bomb that I usually use for these uh, times when you don't feel so well. So I actually put the four drops of peppermint in a veggie cap. I put two drops of the Long Guard, and then I added a drop of cinnamon oil and cassia oil. <laughs> and then I put some oregano and frankincense in it. And I 
was surprised. I felt actually more relief when I did that. It was good. And I did it the next day. And then I skipped the day because I thought I was better. And apparently I wasn't completely better. So I, I did it again. And my recommendation is to consistently do it over and over again, even though you feel better, keep doing it just to be safe to really make sure you got everything out of your system. And the other thing that I did this morning, as I was reading up again a little more, I put it in a diffuser, put a couple of drops of cassia with some uh, wild orange, and it smells really good. It really helps the sinuses. And the only other time I really used cinnamon oil was probably a year ago when I made some uh, rice pudding. Made my own rice. I just add a little milk to it. Instead of using the cinnamon you know, powder, I put the cinnamon oil in it. And it's very strong, but it's good. I actually did it this morning also on some cereal. Probably should be cereal when you're sick, but I put it in the milk first, and that was my little healthy way of uh, staying above the milk. Because milk's not really good for the system. So, anyways, I put it in that. It tasted good. It was strong, but it was good. And I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I'm missing? Anybody else want to join? Jump in. Have any uses that they've used cinnamon or cassia for? I saw somebody say that they love cassia. I know Renee, you like to put it in your tea or, or yeah, coffee. My uh, lattes. So yeah, I totally um, add a little bit to flavor. I always do cinnamon bark. I always forget to grab cassia because I guess in my mind I tune out cassia means cinnamon. <laughs> So I always grab cinnamon bark, so I need to start grabbing cassia and try it out. So I love the diffuser recipe. So I will definitely start diffusing as well, that wild orange and cassia. So I'm gonna try that. So if anybody doesn't know, this is Kylie Johnson. He's the husband of Nora Johnson. So he's gonna be our um, co-host for Golden Drop the third Wednesday of every month. So it's gonna be fun to bring in. Jason's gonna be the first Thursday, or excuse me, Wednesday, first Wednesday of the month, and then Kylie's the third Wednesday of the month, so just kind of bring in a couple more um, different views, so just wanted to introduce who Kylie was as well. Sorry, I just joined in and just did that. <laughs> That's okay. I didn't know. <laughs> That's fine. Hey, Michelle, if you're at a spot that you can talk, can you jump in and show or tell us how you guys use Cassia in your house? Sometimes she can't talk she can just listen so and I know Andrea probably has some ideas or Diana so feel free to jump in guys um, well I like to cook with it so I put it in my tea it's really nice yeah blue bombs you know what I'd love to share quick um, I love when I'm having that sugar craving, like I go cinnamon's my thing. If I'm trying to get off sugar, I'm always gear, carrying around my big jug of water and like one drop of cinnamon. And I feel like I'm having like dessert all day long. I just feel like it's a treat. Um, so if I'm, I, I usually try to stay away from sugar, but if I've kind of got on the kick again, then I'll do the cinnamon and water. Or if I just want to treat around the holidays when there's a bunch of um, sweets around. I love to. I love to use it. Then I'll put it on the thumb on my thumb and just put it on the roof of my mouth. Also, um, I I love cinnamon. It's a. I I I too, Renee. I don't do. I veer towards cinnamon, and I need to remember that cassia is probably has the, some of the same. Um, it's less expensive, and it's a bigger bottle. So, um, but yeah, I love cinnamon. So, uh, thanks for sharing, Kylie. Appreciate it. Not a problem. It's funny because my, my sister, uh, her daughter is pregnant and just was diagnosed with diabetes. And so she wants to use the cinnamon oil, but 
really can't right now until she's a little bit farther along in her pregnancy because it's, it's a little bit of a health risk, some of these oils when you're pregnant. So, Do you have any dill left over, Kylie? Do I have any what? Dill. Dill? Dill. Remember the dill oil that came out with the summer? I'm summer sure we do somewhere. I don't they know. They got your dill. Yep. Yeah. Julie's showing it off there. But yeah, the dill is good for um, insulin balancing also. All right. So I will let my that. sister know. <laughs> that might be a little bit. <laughs> and then Beth, how many ounces is your water bottle with one drop of cinnamon? You know, I use like a like a big one maybe 16 ounce i just reuse like kombucha bottles when i buy a you know i okay. clean it out so it's probably 16 ounce okay so it's one drop just, yeah Woo. it's it goes a long way it's really wow. a tasty little yeah okay i'm gonna try Let's it try. Sounds really good because i've been on a sugar cook recently and i'm like i'm up 15 pounds in like the past two months and it's i'm whoa gotta rein it in so um i'm soaking in all of these how to cut the sugar <laughs> Try it. Try it. <laughs> I will definitely try it today. Thank you. Darren loves cinnamon in her um in her water. And she actually puts cinnamon too in her lip gloss for a lip plumper. Oh, for the plumpers. Yeah. So that's what that's how she uses cinnamon. So hey, okay. I'm gonna just jump in real quick because Julie asked about the emotional benefits. So I'm gonna just read really quick. Cassia brings gladness and courage to the heart and soul. It is a wonderful remedy for the shy and timid. It helps those who hold back and try to hide. When a person avoids being the center of attention, Cassia can restore their confidence. Apparently, I don't need Cassia. <laughs> um, cinnamon. Cinnamon supports the re reproductive system and helps heal sexual issues. It assists individuals in accepting their bodies and embracing their physical attract attractiveness. Cinnamon dispel, despise fear of re rejection and nurtures healthy sexuality. It rekindles sexual energies when there has been repercussions, uh, re trauma, or abuse. It can also bring clarity to souls who struggle with their sexual identity. There you go, Julie. I want to add on that because um, I have a friend that I know that um, he struggled for a long time with health issues, um, way overweight, obesity, and he's now doing very good in that department, but he also lost a teenager son from suicide along with that, and so we got to talking about different things, and I says, I'll be willing to bet you that I know which oil would be your best friend. And he's like, what oil is that? And I says, cinnamon. He goes, oh, I love cinnamon. And I says, well, this is why. And I let him read the emotional book. And he goes, sexuality. And I says, it has nothing to do with sex. <laughs> and um, But it was all about him because his wife was there. And she was reading it too. She says, that is totally him. Because it's when we have those traumas like that, looking at ourselves in the mirror, we think we're okay, but we're really not. And cinnamon is a great essential oil to help us through that emotion. It's awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Oops, what did I do? I don't know what happened to Renee. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> so, how much time? Oh, it's been about 15 minutes now. So, <clears throat> I'm glad you read that emotionals. I forgot about that part of it. I should have grabbed that book and had it handy in my hand. Next time, I'll remember to do that. No cool. problem. Thank you, Kylie, for the uh, the host being co-host today. And then we'll go ahead and we'll get this up on Go Green Group. We'll have it at YouTube channel and Sharon McDonald, and then you guys can share it to your groups as well. So thank you all for attending and have a great day. Thanks, everybody. Bye.